I won't see him again. I won't be able to hug him again or just remind them that I love him or anything like that. Jada Walker is preparing to bury her baby brother. Speaking to ABC News for the first time since Akron police released body camera video showing eight of their officers shooting and killing 25-year-old Jalen Walker. Now, you know that video is out there. Are you just not ready to see it yet? It's just not matching the person that I know because he's not into that. And that's not him. That's not Jalen. And I can't accept that at all. And I don't... I shouldn't say I don't want to, but I just can't fathom to see any sort of video of him being gunned down that amount of times, you know, as if he was just, just like aim practice. The footage shows what authorities describe as a routine traffic stop, followed by a car chase, then foot chase. As Walker runs away, officers claim at one point he turns towards them, prompting a hail of gunfire. A preliminary medical examiner report shows over 60 wounds to Walker's body, despite being unarmed at the moment he was killed. But police say Walker fired at them during the car chase and point to this image, which they say shows a flash of a gun from the driver's side of Walker's car, adding that they recovered this gun and a loaded magazine inside of his car. The way in which that picture um, depicted where the gun was located and the way in the manner in which it was placed Officers are approaching the car on their body-worn camera, and it's capturing it in, in, as they are approaching. You are not, um, sounds like you're not buying, but also you don't see evidence that a gun was ever fired from that vehicle. I've never known him to own a gun of any sort at all. He never brought it to my attention. The last thing I would have imagined him having with him is a gun. I don't see clear evidence of a gun being fired. More importantly, the gun was recovered in the back seat, according to the preliminary autopsy report that my team reviewed. So I need to know how the gun got in the front seat. All nice presented with the ring and the, car, you know, the the the, um, the cartridge pulled out and the bullets there. It, this looked like a staged picture. ABC News has reached out to the Attorney General's office regarding the photo, but have not heard back. The family says police are creating a narrative that makes Walker out to be someone that he wasn't. I really haven't been watching a lot of television or publications on things because I just, I don't want to see him in that light. I'm just really sad because, like I said, out of many black men who, who have been killed and many families who experience this, even as a sister, you know, it's just... <sighs> Excuse me, it's just, it's really hard. Black lives, they matter here. Walker's death ignited protests. No justice, no peace. As an outraged community and grieving family await answers from the investigation now underway. We still have yet to get a solid answer as to how, uh, like you said, a person who doesn't have any record, at the most will have a speeding ticket, you know, from using his car to get around for me to have to experience that and see my family, you know, mourn, even my mom, you know, it really hurts.